And the SBA said last week it dispersed $1.5 billion. That's out of $30 billion. That's supposed to be available to small businesses and low income areas. It's to help them deal with the uh, economic impact from the pandemic. It's also part of that uh, program, excuse me, pandemic relief money. It's also to help owners get back on their feet. The problem is they need more applicants. So Dennis Reed, the second serial entrepreneur. He's here. He's joining us to discuss how some black and brown communities can get access to this money. Uh, Mr. Reed, are you shocked to hear the SBA say they need more applicants? Like, really? I'm shocked to hear it because I did three. And the three that I did, I got approved for two. And then one got approved, but they never sent the money. So it's like a lot of people in my community that I'm approved with telling me the same thing. Like, they either getting approved or not getting approved. And then when they get approved, some of them are not even getting the funds. And that time. So I see that you're uh, live, coming to us live from Detroit, which is an area that has dealt with its own economic um, impact for a while. And I can only imagine the devastation caused by the pandemic. So tell us how you actually made out, because you said you applied, but you only got part of the money you applied for. Right, so I got, I had multiple businesses. So one business I got the funds for. Uh, two business I got the fund for, but the one for my bar, for example, I made the, I did that uh, that application the same time I did it one of my restaurants. They approved it, but the money never came. But they sent me a bill saying that I got to start paying for it in August. So when we start calling people about it, they keep on pushing me to a new person, a new person, a new person, and it's like. I just told them to cancel me because it, it's starting to get irritating. Well, so they this, say that they want to get money, but they don't want. Well, you got to pay that money back. It sounds like, and if you never got it, uh, what are you going? What are you going to do if you got to start paying it back in August? Well, I won't have to pay it if, if once I prove that I, I didn't receive it. They can look at the account and tell I didn't receive it, you know. But they give me a different person every time, so they say that they need help with uh, putting in applications. They need help with making sure that we get the funds. Okay, so they're saying they need more applicants. Can you talk about the process involved with applying for funds like this? Was it easy? It wasn't difficult. It, it really wasn't. As long as your numbers matched up and you use your account and go to your bank and let them do it, it's pretty easy. Now, if you try to do it, you're not going to know the numbers like the accountants or the banks. So it's not hard if you go to one of them. But for a small business owner, um, they may not have an accountant, Mr. Reed. But they have a bank account. And if they don't, I mean, it, you still have to pay taxes on your money. So it, it's kind of a catch 22 because the bank, they have people there that help you do it. Like all of them Bank of America, PNC, and all my accounts are with Bank of America. And they just told me to come in and they help me with it. So I don't know about that. So, Mr. Reed, um, Forbes reported that only about 12% of black and brown businesses were approved for uh, the PPP program. Um, why do you think it's such a disparity when it comes to minority owned businesses getting access to this money? Because, like you just said, a lot of people don't have accounts or even some bank accounts to show you how to do it properly. You know, and in our community, sometimes we scared to deal with other races because we don't think they're going to help us. And I, I understand that, but it's it's not enough of us helping each other to do it, if that makes any sense. Mr. Reed, thank you so much for your time, sir. Uh, it looks like you're in a diner. We got to go to breaking news. Grab a slice of pie for me. Okay. I